has parenthood changed your marriage, if at all? For the better. Yeah. For the better. For us, anyway. Yeah, mm-hmm. a lot. It's changed. It's changed me completely as a person. Yeah. yeah. The way I view life, the way I view people, the way I view Ryan, the way I view my parents. Uh, complete, you know, profound, mm-hmm. aha, oh my God, this is what life is all about, yeah. and that's the purpose of life. Um, I'm not surprised, but it brought us closer together mm-hmm. more than any time before. Yeah, because yeah. all of a sudden you have like this, you have, you have a common interest and you have this common goal in keeping like this baby alive. Yeah. <laughs> and so like every everything else before the baby that you think is a big deal, once you have the baby is no longer yeah. a big deal. Like right. little yeah. things just don't, don't matter. matter as much. And so then you're, you're aligned. Um, her mom lives with us. We moved her here from Athens, mm-hmm. I will Thanks. say. That is a huge help. Yes. Yeah. Anyone I mean, who could have an in-law move in with you, <laughs> like, just do it. Well, that's if your in-laws love. Okay, if they're you. crazy, don't do <laughs> it. <laughs> so but my mom good, loves Ryan and always takes a side yeah. all the time. Mm-hmm. So the best. that's why he loves having my mom. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What any big milestones that she's hit recently? Because she's about to be a year old, right? Yes, she's starting yeah. to yeah, she's walk. She's starting to walk. At 10 months. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, now she's 11 months, but she walked really early. Okay. She climbs now. Oh, geez. Which is interesting. Mm-hmm. Anything. But you wrote the, she'll, she'll never talk about it, but she wrote a children's book that'll be one of the first children's books about the IVF process as a, mm-hmm. as like a metaphor. So everything, like as she goes through like the cactus field is to show the baby, like that's the needles and all yeah. that. And like all the people who helped kind of down like the yellow brick road. So mm-hmm. that'll come out at the end of March. That's great. Um, but that's that's super cool. I think that's awesome. Because yeah. a lot of people don't talk about the IVF process. And I know that you're being really open and honest on your it YouTube creates, series listen, as well. I, 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 it, it creates, you're not gonna want me to say this, but IVF creates super babies, Mm -hmm. really. (laughs) Because there's like 15 doctors that get together in a room, they pick the best egg and the best sperm and they put it together and then we've got this crazy little super baby who knows how to dance, walk in 10 months. She she was doing algebra the other day. And like everyone else has these normal babies that they made when they were drunk. We have this, we basically have like mini Arnold Schwarzenegger over here that was made in a lab and I'm totally okay with it. And now I'm nervous about like the next ones. If if they happen happen naturally. But feel bad for them because they're gonna be like, Zena is so much better. And be like, I I know we made her. You were a Tuesday. (laughs) I think that now that we're past Past the difficult Mm -hmm. part, it's very easy for me to talk about it more. At the time we didn't talk about it at all. We didn't post any pregnancy. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't bring myself to talk about it because I wasn't sure, even when I was pregnant, I wasn't sure was this going to turn out the way I wanted yeah. it to turn out because yeah. I felt so incredibly blessed and lucky that it actually happened sure. that I was so nervous to even say anything. And now, you know, I guess with the book coming out, the children's book, I feel more open. Mm-hmm. And I've been talking to so many women who are going through it. So many people do. And yeah. they're just, the, the stories that they share with me have opened up my heart to this and my mind to think of more about it and mm-hmm. talk about it. And I think it's a... Yeah. It's, what, is, what advice do you have for people going through something the, the same? Talk about yeah. it. Yeah. Talk about it. So many, we have so many friends who, even while we were going through it, still would they'd be like, oh, crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. After the baby, they came to us and they said, oh, by the way, yeah, we went through that yeah. too. I'm like, how come you never, I think it's hard. like embarrassed? I don't know. I think it's hard because while you're going through it, you're processing it also. And it's, it's hard to say, talk about it. But mm-hmm. I will say I had a moment before I did my embryo transfer that I laughed so much with a fellow mom, yeah. mom to be. Mm-hmm. And I was hysterical laughing it was the first time I laughed through this whole process about what we had both had gone through. Sure. And I think there has, you have to find maybe one moment in all of this process where you can find the humor in it. And I know mm-hmm. that's very hard, but if you can, even with a friend or your spouse or your partner, whoever, that I think that can, because that really stayed with me. Right, yeah, you yeah. gotta lift your spirits up a little yeah. bit because it does take an emotional toll. And it's also mm-hmm. like, it's 2020. Like we live in a time when you can get help mm-hmm. to make a baby. Like yeah. there, there, the there was a time when you couldn't, mm-hmm. you know, and you just have to take the card that's given to you. But now, like you know, struggling through infertility issues and so many different things, there are, technology has advanced in such an amazing way. Like I was just sort of blown away by the whole process, sure. how they do everything. I'm like, wow, wow, it's it's pretty wild. Like yeah. it just makes us very very grateful pretty for. Cool. Like Absolutely. science and the advances in medicine oh, that totally. have, otherwise we would otherwise we would not have Zena. Yeah. 
Well, she's a beautiful little girl. Thanks. Is she having any play dates with any of the with Luis? Well, Luis well, is in Puerto Rico. Luis is Luis in is Japan. In Japan. Japan. Okay. Oh, really? <laughs> with Steve. Andy, Andy, and Andy. Andy's baby Ben mm -hmm. yeah, uh, lives close to us, and they're the so same cute. age. Yeah. And we're gonna meet she, Rose. She beats him up though. Does she? <laughs> He is she the cutest. It. No, no, no. He gives She's her the kisses and Zena baby just, boy. Yeah. He just wants to hug and love everything. Uh -huh. And we Zena pull, we pull her out. We're like, are we ready to play? And her legs are like this. <laughs> she's got like fierce eyes. She's ready to go. We put her down and she's all yeah. over, all over, slapping. And he follows her around. Yeah. Like she is manipulating men <laughs> at 11 months old. Like mean. her mother. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. She's got a little baby crush already. Yes. They're so cute together because yeah. of the same height and they're the same age. But um, we're going to meet baby Rose. I'm Steve's. so excited. Yeah, Steve yeah. Baby. Steve's, mm -hmm. Steve's baby and yeah. Rose's baby. I'm so excited about it. She's a little bit younger though. Mm -hmm. But I'm so excited for all the babies. I know, all the babies around. So exciting. Yeah. So many babies. Yeah. Have you started filming the next season? Yes. Yes. Are, How's that been going? We're heavy, deep in season deep, nine. Deep yeah. in season nine. I cannot believe it's been nine years later. Yeah. It's wild. Neither can I. But that'll come out this year. <laughs> that we're still doing this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I told her when we first met. Yep. The show's gonna me. last another year, don't worry. Yeah. I was like, don't worry, the show's not gonna last that long. Right. I said, okay, fine. And here we are. And here we are. Yeah. Season nine. Season, Season nine. nine. And Zena's on it. Oh, that's exciting. And my mom is on it. My mom's on it, your whole family's on <laughs> the whole it. Whole family. <laughs> The family affair. Yes. Big Green yeah. family. Is Frederick going to be mm. on as much? I don't much? know. I think yeah. so. Mm -hmm. uh, I really I don't know. Because yeah. The moved, show wouldn't so be the right. same without him yeah. either way. So. Yeah. Do you, do you get to see him <laughs> oh. or talk to him a lot? Do I? <laughs> no. Do you you disagree? <laughs> Not really. No, I moved. Oh. He moved to LA. Yeah. So we'll see. Were you surprised he moved? Yeah. 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 Yeah, he's such a New Yorker. Mm -hmm. I was really, I, yeah, I was actually super surprised. I mean, I know Derek loves mm -hmm. the the weather there and they're just, the kids are doing so well. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So what are we doing here today at the Diver? Today we are shopping um, yes. for gifts for each other and mm -hmm. for my team and, and our for our entire families. family. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Because I feel like it's a great gift. Everybody loves it. It's, you know, Godiva is very well known and yeah. everybody you know, loves all their flavors and we're super excited to just oh. get everybody to right. It takes the stress it's away. Just, it really does. It's a great last minute Valentine's Day gift. Definitely, you get it all out in one shot and yeah. everybody's happy. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. can't go wrong. Right, it's very true. Everything here is perfect and everybody knows it. Like if you say good dive to people, they're like, what, where, when, how, 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 how when, when can I have it, right? Exactly. I told her we were coming over here and she's like, boom, right now, dress on, let's go. Left the baby behind. The chocolate covered. Strawberries. I know, and they make them back here. Mm -hmm. So Godiva also has like the cafe. So right. yeah. in the city you're in where they have the cafes, it's awesome. Their hot chocolate yeah. is the best. So yes. good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what's the best and worst gift that Ryan has ever given you? <laughs> best gift. Okay. Aside from our daughter, mm -hmm. she is the best gift that he could have ever given me. But I had quit my job a few years ago uh, as a maritime attorney, and that was a very, very big deal for me because it was the first time ever, and I transitioned into title insurance. It was that or moved to Geneva. It was that or moved mm -hmm. to Geneva, Switzerland. But when I, you know, I had all my belongings and I had told everybody, I, I said goodbye to my team. It was, it was so sad. I was crying. Yeah. And I was shaking because I was so nervous about what was what was I doing? Was this the right move? And I had all the stuff in, in, from my desk in the box, you know, the little cardboard box. I went out and Yuri was there waiting for me. He surprised me. And in the seat, there was this silver plated, I guess it was a dish that I could put my jewelry in mm -hmm. right by the bed. Right. And it had my favorite poem engraved in it so uh, by Pablo Neruda, which I thought he never paid attention to what I said. <laughs> I listened to everything. And he, he had down to the, to the exact line that I, li oh, wow. that I loved. And the note said, I know you're scared and I know you're nervous, but everything is gonna be okay. And I'm gonna be with you, you know, throughout this whole process. And I thought he, was, he had not paid attention yeah. to how nervous I was. So that was by far the best gift. Oh, so I'll give a little like love tip, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, to those who tip. are watching, okay. right? The notes app in the phone mm -hmm. is there for a reason. <laughs> so use it. use it. Anytime you hear like your partner or spouse say something, oh, I love this song or oh, I love this. Go in your notes app and be like, she loves this stupid song right. and put it in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. That way, when you're thinking about gifts, you can go to their secret notes app and open it up and be like, boom. I got something that'll make her think that I've been paying attention this <laughs> whole time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was That's a the good best tip, gift. though. Yeah. Worst gift? I don't think he's ever gotten me a worst gift. I, I have to be honest. Yeah. I don't even remember. I mean, aside from forgetting to give me a gift. When have I ever <laughs> forgotten to give you a gift? I don't know. Maybe a push present? You, uh -oh. wait, you, you want to talk uh -oh. about this right now? Uh -oh. Maybe you forgot that? I don't really forget it. 
There's a there's a massive house in Brooklyn being built ready right now for all the future pushes. Right. No, no worse gift. No worse gift. But any gift I get Ryan, he always stashes away somewhere. No, you got me Xena. I've yet to stash her anywhere. Except for wherever she is right now. I forgot. We, we, don't we don't know where she is. She was not invited. <laughs> <laughs>